and when you hear the town Brinkley, some people may ask, where is that? Oh, that's the town on the way towards Little Rock. Yet no one really knows what happens in Brinkley. Like, the kids here are really joyful. Just teachers, they love the children. But, I mean, people just look at this town, it's just like, oh, there, there is nothing there. There's nobody there that matters. As kids, we just went outside and played. We didn't really have places to go to hang out. Football was, it was important growing up, especially where I lived, because I lived right beside two of my cousins. Like, we was all in a row, just on a dirt road, and we went outside and we just played football all day. We picked up teams and we just played ball till we couldn't play no more. I was teaching at the school that I actually played. I was now coaching on the field that I actually played on. When you've had football, you don't want to see football leave. And when that happened a couple years ago, it was a scare. It was a scare that, I mean, literally hit home. Looking at the towns who've lost their schools, I mean, it's, there's nothing around anymore. You know, and it's, you sit there and you know that's a possibility where you're at. You know, it makes it tough. Just, just seeing that because the schools that are consolidating, they're, they're drying up and they're just, there's not much left there. Numbers dropping, it's always a possibility to lose, lose, a, t lose a team. It just makes it easier to fill the team when you got to put a few less players on the field. You know, eight-man football is going to be, in the next few years, it's going to blow up. And I mean, it's going to get pretty big in the state of Arkansas. Just keep me off the streets. Keep me away from the drugs. Keep me away from all, just, just keep me away from all the trouble. And I'll tell them how much trouble I'll be in. And I'll uh, tell them what I'd be doing right now if I didn't have sports to. Been playing with the same people on that field out there since second grade. I mean, so our chemistry is pretty high. Sometimes we may have our ups and downs. Sometimes we may not play like a team player, but I love those guys. I love football. And the fact that we're getting to keep it, it's amazing. Cause like, if we didn't have football, it was, I don't know. If, I don't know where we would be at. Coach Baker made a good decision when he chose for us to go to A man. They want to win so bad to prove the doubters wrong because a lot of people thought we were gonna lose this program. And then once they seen we weren't gonna lose it, you still have your naysayers that say, well, eight man football is not real football. And to prove those people wrong would do something, I think so great for the athletes. But hey, I can do this. I, I have overcome this obstacle. You know, I brought a championship back to Brinkley. Keep them lights coming on on Friday nights down there because I mean, you know, that's, that's one of the main things I went to eight man football with, or we went to eight man football for, it was, you know, because you just, you get a certain feeling once them lights come on on Friday nights that, you know, you don't really ever get that feeling anywhere else, you know, and that's what I want all these kids to do, to, to have that feeling.